Security breach. Security breach. Alright guys, at number one we have Iron Meat. The post-apocalyptic premised run-and-gun shooter with enough gore to send you back to the glory, I mean gory, days of old Splatterhouse from almost 20 years ago. I probably wouldn't mention this if I didn't have to, but since it's the game's entire aesthetic, well, you're in Russia. Uh, here's the thing, Iron Meat has a free playable demo on Steam right now, the game at its full, however, set to come out soon and into PCs only. Number two, we have Signai All Guns Blazing, a twin stick vertical shooter at heart and with a dash of cinematic flair. I think it's actually so good the fine folks behind the project just signed some sort of a contract with Konami for further game development plan, but I, I, I just heard that. However, believe it or not, this game's the next generation console exclusive game and it's been revealed last year and rumored to come out mid to late this year. Check it out. Now coming up next we have Arc Sync, another twin stick shooter at heart but one with one hell of a lot of nostalgia to boot. Take it from Blackthorn from almost 30 years ago to the actually not too long ago revealed title Replace. Here's the thing, Arc Sync is on its way to PCs only via Steam in about a few months we hear. We have Proto Corgi, which is a retro style pixel art shmup, bark him up, in which you play as a cyber genetic dog who must save the world and his creator. Now, Proto Corgi, as you could tell, probably mixes the shoot em up with the arcade style of pixel art sort of games with a lot of customization to boot for a somewhat more of a unique experience, so to speak, among all the competition out there right now. Let's check it out. This game is coming to PCs and the Nintendo Switch mid to late this year. Listen up! I beat your boss fair and square! You is my boys now! There's a TV Get called Gut Wrecker! What stole something off me? About almost 48 hours ago, the fine folks at Rogue Site revealed a brand new cinematic trailer for Warhammer 40k Shooters Blood and Teeth. No, what's that? 
That's an almost brand new 2D run and gun platformer the company's been cooking for quite a while now. The game itself was originally announced 10 months ago almost, where we actually learned you could play this game with friends in PvE, co-op or against other players in PvP. Check it out, this game is coming to consoles and PCs, Nintendo Switch as well sometime around summer this year. Alright, we have Astral Gunners, which is available now on Steam via Early Access for about 15 bucks. This is actually one solid shmup to get your hands on right now. It comes with a hell of a bullet hell formula, different heroes to play as well, enemies and bosses all cool, music is something, and it even comes in multiplayer. So here's the thing, the full game is set to come out, although this is actually honestly an almost perfectly fine-tuned game right now in its current shape, but anyway the full game is set to come out also very soon. And in games and Taito just came up with the update that the Pocky Rocky Reshrine game is now making its way to the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4 and are both available to pre-order right now. This game's a top-down co-op shooter that dates to almost 30 years back. This time, however, it'll feature a total of five playable characters, which is pretty surprising, with the graphical upgrades, of course, improved audio, and there's gonna be some more. Check it out. Right, moving on, it's time for our cat game of the day, literally Super Cat Boy. Now, Super Cat Boy is a mix of Metal Slug and Super Meat, you, you couldn't say Super Meat Boy, but it's got something in common with the old Shinobi games where you could dodge and dash a lot, which is something you could also do in Super Meat Boy as well. It's a nice game, Super Cat Boy doesn't have a firm release date yet, but it's scheduled to come out sometime this summer as a run and gun platformer with elements of beat em up games. Check it out, this game's coming to PCs only via Steam.
We have Vostok 2061, which is another vertically scrolling shooter where you have to conquer the universe. Now, this game comes in nine different levels, and well, I've been led to believe a decent sized world as well. You get to choose different spaceships to buy new weapons, level up, and destroy bosses. I think for me personally, it's actually the aesthetic, it's really unique. Well, here, take a look. This game is coming to PCs via Steam in about a few months from now. We're here. Steel Mantis just announced that Valfaris is being treated to a sequel, going by Mecha Thurian, which is currently scheduled to come out late this year and into all consoles and PCs, Switch included. This, however, comes with a new twist, which is Mecha Thurian will basically get rid of the action platformer formula and into a side-scrolling shmup new direction. So yeah, while the original was a 2D platformer, this one comes with a shift in both graphics, which is a two and a half dimensional now, and also gameplay. So check it out. Now here's the thing, if you grew up watching or rather played some of the 90s Amiga games, shmups to be specific, I would say there's a chance you're already familiar with the Cider series. In which case, what we have here, Cider Reloaded, is just a revival or revived sort of kind of version of those games with upgraded graphics and refined gameplay, it's all there. Now if you're actually new to this, however, the question is, do you like Shmup Bullet Hill Hybrids? If the answer is yes, just make sure to keep an eye out for this one as well. This game's coming to pieces and then it's on the Switch, possibly later this year. There's Fire and Rain, another fast-paced, challenging, reward-based shooter that combines classic shoot-em-up gameplay with RPG elements. RPG elements? With a story mode and then with an online portion to see what other players have to share. Because apparently there's some sort of a level creating section in this game, which is actually a good addition. There's gonna be lots of upgrades and skill trees and stuff going on here as well. Check it out. Fire and Rain is a PC game for Steam and due out June this year. <laughs> Oh, 
And last but not least, we have Soul Star. One last vertical arcade shoot em up with this inventive teleport system. There's gonna be lots of fast plays in action and explosions, lots of boss fights, some good old fashioned risk reward based score system, and a proper challenge for both veteran and new players to this genre. Check it out. This game's actually sitting on Steam since a few days back for the price of 10 bucks. If you do like shmup, don't even think twice, just get it. You won't regret, promise.